nip trouble in the bud is some of the sage advice nearly everyone has been raised on to one degree or another. The notion being that we need to get right on something before it gets out of hand. That is often good advice in some instances. But in ever so many parenting situations, it's terrible advice. There are better ways. An absolutely distraught mother pulled me aside after I had finished speaking to a group of educators. She was very, very exercised. Scarcely had she introduced herself before she began describing in vivid detail the insufferable behavior of her, quote, out-of-control daughter, end of quote. Listening to her just exhausted me. I suggested we find an out-of-the-way place and sit down. As she vented her frustration and despair, I was envisioning a 17-year-old kid who was into gangs, drugs, and sex whose every square inch of body was pierced and adorned with baubles, bangles, and beads. The sheer intensity of the mother's anguish was draining, and the thought came to mind, Glenn, this might be the one for which there is no answer. I hardly knew where to start. Her complaints of absolute selfishness, gross noncompliance, constantly being unhappy— totally unable to be pleased, went on and on and on. For want of anything else to say, I asked, How old is this girl? The mother's response nearly blew me right off my chair. Six months. The magnification of behavior is a modern-day pastime of parents. I never cease to be amazed at how some absolutely inconsequential behavior of a child can be snowballed into a rampaging force wrecking havoc on all of humanity from continent to continent. It's like the parents of a two-year-old child who are sure they see in their son the seeds of a pathological killer. Look, folks, it rarely rarely happens that way. Raising a pathological menace takes a whole lot more than really bad parenting than is the case with even most terrible parents, plus lots of experiences outside of the home over which parents have no control anyway. So ease up, Mom and Dad. One study found that little girls between the ages of two and five did something annoying to their parents about once every other minute. For little boys, it was once every minute. I have found that about 98% of all of those annoying things are not worth a second of a parent's attention. They are simply inconsequential, whining, complaining, grabbing, messing, tantrums, tattling, poking, touching. A hundred years of highly sophisticated research has revealed a solution to these kinds of behaviors. Are you ready for this? Here's the solution. Walk away. That's right. You just walk away. You seldom, if ever, say a word, or look down, or touch, or pick up, or give the slightest attention at all to the annoying behavior. We call it putting the behavior on extinction, defined in the dictionary as the process of eliminating or reducing a conditioned response by not reinforcing it. Listen to that definition again. The process of eliminating or reducing a conditioned response by not reinforcing it. There are two words in that definition that all parents should understand, and they are conditioned response. That means, in this case, that the annoying behavior, that is the response, was actually conditioned over the days and months by the attention given to it, that is the reinforcer, by the parents. Do you get the picture? When we pay attention to that kind of behavior, we are conditioning it. 
We are strengthening it. We are reinforcing it. We are increasing the chances that it will keep on happening. And how do we get rid of it? Like the dictionary says, we put it on extinction. That is, we just ignore it. We just walk away with a smile on our face, our chin up, and a lilt in our step. A parent should rarely say a word, look down, or touch. Sometimes tattling and complaining might require a verbal response. If so, it'd go like this. Child. Mommy, Billy called me a name. Mommy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure that makes you sad. Child. But Mommy, aren't you going to spank Billy? He should be spanked. Mommy. I'm sure you're upset. Now run along and play. Then the mother just turns and walks away, going to more important things. It's called purposeful ignoring. If parents will do this, 94% of those annoying, inconsequential, conditioned behaviors will extinguish. That is, they'll just go away within one minute and 45 seconds. In fact, 81% of them will go away within 30 seconds. Do it. Take my word for it. I wouldn't kid you. The next time an inconsequential behavior arises in your home, just walk away and time it. You'll be in for a surprise. If parents will learn to effectively use the extinction strategy, they will relieve themselves of more pain and stress than could be realized from any amount of Prozac, Valium, or aspirin. Let me know how it goes. Drop me a note.